Hello Chaos Gang and welcome back to my bullshit. Today I'm here alone. If you want any of Ali or his socials will be down in the description below. Ali is here, they're just not in this video. Hello. Anyways, this video is gonna be me reacting to Am I the Asshole, but I went out of my way to only find Am I the Assholes where they were the asshole. After a while, they will either be marked with not the asshole or asshole, so I went through the ones that have asshole marked. But before we continue this video, what if I bleach my hair and dye it brown? So I don't, maybe I'll come back with brown hair. I don't know. Hey, it's a couple days later and I'm back. Things are different. Can't you see? Dyed it back to my natural blonde. Cause I was like, I haven't seen that in five years. With all that being said, let's get into the, the a-holes. Am I the asshole for calling out my sister for breastfeeding at my wedding? My 34 male, meaning he's 34, the guy who wrote this, Sister gave birth two months ago. She brought the baby to mine and my wife's 23 female wedding. She breastfeeds whenever she goes. I think that means wherever. We visit her house, she'll breastfeed in front of us. Visiting our parents, she'll breastfeed. Going out in public setting, she'll sit on a bench on the park and breastfeed. Go out to a restaurant, she breastfeeds. Everywhere I've never spoken on it because I know she'll get mad and offended, but when she did that on my wedding, I lost my cool. I'm already mad! <laughs> During the reception dinner, she just did it again! Wow, at dinner, when people are eating, the baby also needed to eat? Babies need to eat? We're all so shocked! I kindly approached her and asked why she didn't bring formula or at least bump milk out. You don't just bump milk out. And put it in the bottle so she wouldn't have to do all this at the moment. She said, because I don't have to. I feel comfortable breastfeeding. Getting milk out of my bone is more painful. I said she could just make this sacrifice and compromise for one day instead of doing this in front of 250 guests on my wedding. She then said she can't do much about it now because the baby has to have her milk. I told her she should be more thoughtful of that instead of completely embarrassing herself and us by doing this. I told my wife what the deal was and she said I'm an asshole and should immediately apologize to my sitter. 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 I told my wife what the deal was and she said I'm an asshole and should immediately apologize to my sister. The wife is fucking right. My parents also sided with my sister. Your parents are fucking right. And now pretty much everyone thinks I'm an asshole since I'm the only person who had a problem with it. The only reason I decided to call her out is because I considered it bad etiquette and tacky to do at a formal event and that she could just find another solution for that night. Am I the asshole? Yes! The sister gave birth two months ago. She has a two month old. She's attending your wedding and she breastfeeds because it's not only more comfortable for her, it's more convenient and it hurts her to do it when it comes to pumping. So like you can just take your sister's overall comfort into play here and that's one reason you're an asshole is you're completely cutting out all of her comfortability. But two, my biggest thing is it should just be normalized that babies need to eat and the mother's allowed to have a preference on if she's gonna breastfeed that baby because it's like a natural way to do it and a lot of parents prefer to do that instead. You don't even have to know the reason. She shouldn't even have to explain to you why she prefers to breastfeed. You should just have the basic knowledge of knowing that babies need to eat. <laughs> a lot of parents don't like formula. Some parents can't afford a ton of formula. I'm just giving you more reasons, but honestly I shouldn't even have to. There doesn't need to be a reason to choose to breastfeed your baby. You shouldn't have even brought it up. And this whole attitude of she does it out in public, she does it at restaurants, she does it like everywhere. Like this two month old baby needs to eat multiple times a day? This is absurd. Actually, you know, I don't know how often babies need to drink breast milk, so I'm gonna look it up real quick. By the time your baby is one to two months old, he or she will probably nurse seven to nine times a day. Do you know how inconvenient it would be for this mother to have to go hide or shield herself or pump that much milk to feed seven to nine times a day? And the fact you're, you're mad about her taking care of your niece or nephew, like did you even take that to account? Like your niece or nephew is who you're getting upset about eating? And also like if you didn't want kids at your wedding and you you didn't want parents feeding their kids at your wedding and doing a natural thing, then you could have told her beforehand and you still would have been the asshole. Don't get me wrong. You still would have been the asshole, but you could have at least warned her beforehand instead of just assuming that she'd show up and not breastfeed considering you've seen her breastfeeding for the past two months anyways. So not only are you the asshole for calling her out and losing your cool, you're also the asshole because you didn't even give her a heads up. You still would have been an asshole if you gave her a heads up, but you didn't even give her that. So it's like, how do you even expect her to read your mind on what you're comfortable with at your wedding? It's just 
just everything here is wrong. And the fact that your wife is telling you, your parents who have clearly had kids and gone through this before, considering they're your parents, have done this before, you are still somehow thinking you're not the asshole. That one, that one upsets me. But you know what even upsets me more? Not smelling good. Today's sponsor, Scentbird. It's a beautiful segue, right? Thank you. So Scentbird was kind enough to send me three different perfumes and colognes. We have Coconut Cove by Skylar Queen Beauty. Gotta open the next one, I wasn't prepared. Well Played by Confessions of a Rebel. And Bergamas by Heretic. As somebody who doesn't carry a purse, it's really easy to put something this small in my pocket. And because of its design, you can see it, it twists out. You don't have to worry about leakage. Could you see that? Look how much came out. So each spray gives you like a generous amount. Now honestly, there's a generous amount in this bottle for how much it costs. Because for only $17 a month, you can try a new fragrance every single month. Something that's also super really cool is they send you a little note card that will show you what fragrances are in it. One of my favorite smells in the world is lavender. And along with that, I love incense. Look, an incense. And the Well Played also has incense. So obviously I'm, I'm a fan. It just feels like a nice hug. And what I really like about the Well Played is it feels like it could go perfume or cologne, like this one smells very unisex to me. But I also really love the bergamot because it has just like a very masculine smell to it. And I think it's because it has sandalwood in it. So I also have been wearing this one a lot. Coconut Cove obviously smells like coconuts. And I'm not gonna lie, I've actually used this one as an air spray for the room. I go coconuts for coconut. Good jokes. And if you don't really enjoy the scents that I just mentioned, the great thing about Scentbird is they have a ton more than just those. You can go to their website and do a quiz to find one that's more specified to you and your tastes and what you enjoy to smell. With the $17 a month subscription, you get one of those smaller vials. So before you commit to buying a bigger, more expensive bottle, you get to test it out and see if you enjoy it in these last like 30 days. They're designer brands. Like they got Prada, they got Gucci, they got Versace, and some of these more niche brands like Heritage. You can use my code Sybil55 for 55% off your first month, which will make your total like a little over $7. So yeah, thank you Semperd for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. All right, let's go back to things that smell a little worse than nice perfumes and colognes, which is asshole. It's a good joke. A great joke even. My 45 female, meaning the person writing it is 45. Niece, 18 female, just graduated from high school. And of course, me and the rest of her family are very proud. Moreover, she got into a pretty good school, so we're pretty excited about that as well. Me, her mom, my sister, my brother-in-law, and my niece and nephew went out to lunch today. I asked my niece what she had been thinking about majoring in, or if there were any programs that she had already been accepted to. She told me that she got into the school for graphic design. I was a little surprised because she's obviously a smart girl, so I thought she would choose something more efficient and productive. I see why this one was labeled the asshole. I asked her if she had already made up her mind on graphic design. I'm pretty sure the money isn't that great in that field. She told me of course she has and she asked why. I told her that I was expecting for her to choose a more well-respected career. She told me that graphic designers are well-respected. I told her they might be a little respected, but not as much as other careers like engineering, computer science, or the medical field, which I was convinced that she was going to go into since she's very bright. I'm a nurse, so that also plays a part into it that a fellow family member would go into a highly respected career like mine. Oh my God, shut up already. <gasps> oh, this is exhausting. There's more, but I'm chiming in already. First of all, graphic design is well respected. Everything you see nowadays has graphic design, whether that's t-shirt designs, company logos, marketing logos, like so many things. I'll throw on the screen things that have to do with graphic design. That is a great career, especially in this day and age, which like maybe Miss Nurse who's writing this doesn't doesn't quite get that because it wasn't exactly a thing when she was going into college. But now, get with the times. It's a huge deal. Also, I'm pretty sure graphic design can pay pretty well depending on who you're working for, just like most jobs. Also, the obviously a smart girl. She can be a smart girl and a gra graphic designer called having passion. She got really upset with me, valid, saying that I was insulting her choices. You were. I replied that I wasn't insulting her. I was just saying that graphic designers aren't as well respected as other fields and that's just the unfortunate truth. She cussed me out saying that she didn't want to be a damn nurse and walked off. My sister got upset calling me dumb and she left. Again, my niece is very smart. I just wanted to let her know about her options and be realistic about it. Am I the asshole? Oh my God, yes you are. That closing statement 
right there. <laughs> Do you really think this girl who you're saying is very smart and got into a very well-respected school doesn't know that there's other job options? Like that alone is insulting her intelligence to be like, I just wanna make sure she, you know, she knows there's other careers than graphic design in the world. I'm sure she knows just fine. Who are you to tell her that it's not well-respected? We already went over why it is well-respected. We already went over why you were pretty wrong about the salary as far as what I found on the internet. So it's clear that the lady who's writing this doesn't even know anything about graphic design, doesn't really understand it, yet still wants to talk about it like she's the authority on it because she thinks her being a nurse is just so much better than whatever she's doing, which is such a shitty way to look at careers in general is to think that your career is just so much better and so much more respected and what's gonna make this girl happy isn't as important. There's an edit. I love edits because they're always so mad when people point out that they were the asshole. Okay, first I need to clarify a few things. First, I am proud of my niece. I'm just disappointed in her chosen field. We got that. You already clarified that. You don't sound proud of her though. You sound rude and you're downplaying her accomplishments. She just graduated high school. She's excited to tell you about what she's doing for college and you were mean. Second, all right, maybe graphic designers make a lot of money, but it's not just about money or creativity or any of those factors. It's about intelligence and service. Nurses are by far the profession who serves the most. And yes, despite being disrespected from entitled patients, we are known to be the hardest working, the most ethical, and yes, the most respected job title aside from doctors and surgeons. So to those in the comments and to those who are sending me angry messages, you clearly are misinformed about what we do all day. At the end of the day, my niece can do whatever she wants. If she wants to be a graphic designer, then that is her choice. But I'm just trying to give her some insight. You are insufferable. Why are you competing? Why does it matter? Of course, when you go on the internet and start talking down about people's jobs, you're gonna get negative comments. And now you're just competing with what your niece wants to do by being like, well, my job's just more respected. And that's what I'm trying to say. And to say that it's not all about the money when you're the one who mentioned the money, this edit is just backtracking at its finest. They don't make a lot of money. Okay, so maybe they make a lot of money, but it's not all about the money. Also, not everybody has to go into a job where they serve every single day. Not everybody wants to be a nurse. Not everybody wants to do that kind of job. She can serve in other ways. Not everything has to come down to your job. You are downplaying the arts and creativity by being like, well, what about intelligence? You just said she's intelligent. You just said she got into a really good school. She is intelligent, so now you are downplaying her intelligence. You asked if you were the asshole and the community decided you're the asshole. You just wanted people to make you feel better and agree with you. Thought people were gonna agree with her and she's shocked that they aren't. Cause she was like, well, they're just being stupid. Let me go put this on the internet. They're definitely gonna agree with me, right? Nope. Am I the asshole for telling my wife that she doesn't need to be with her sick friend at the hospital? Yes. So my wife has a friend from childhood named Anthony. I'm being completely honest here when I say that he and I don't get along. It's not like he is rude or disrespectful, nothing like that. But all I feel towards him is annoyance, sort of speak, because of how much my wife sees him. He lives alone and now suffers from a medical condition, cancer, that requires him to go to the hospital regularly to receive treatment. I found out that my wife promised to go with him to every chemo treatment as support. She said it's a commitment she made to be there for him during this rough time since he has no one else besides him. Dude, it already sounds like you're just jealous. Okay, I had no issue with that at first, but then this started affecting me. Yeah, cause it's about you right now. I can't go see my friends because I have to stay with my son on X day so my wife could be with Anthony for his treatment, etc. I've talked to her about it, but she said that Anthony needs company and she's just being supportive and this is when he needs her most. She's right. I let it go, but last week was just kind of my last straw. Anthony had another chemo session treatment. My wife wanted to go with him and asked me to stay home with our son. I told her I had to meet up with my mom and sister to eat lunch and that I won't be home. She said she needed to go be with him and I kind of flipped out at her and said she doesn't need to be with him and could literally go see him at home the next day or something. She threw a fit and called me cruel for forcing her to leave Anthony by himself since she's all he has and that I was making her look bad. She also said my appointment with mom and sister wasn't as important as a chemo session but I decided just to leave to end the argument. So you just left on top of that. Oh, oh I got a lot to say. She ended up staying at home but kept ignoring me when I got back calling me selfish for not letting her be there to support Anthony with what he's going through. Some of her girlfriends think I'm being a controlling jerk. You are with no consideration for Anthony. You don't have consideration in what he's going through. Am I the asshole? Yeah, you're the asshole. How do you think you're not the asshole? First of all, it's a little suspicious that you start this paragraph with, I don't like Anthony and it's coming off as jealousy. And it sounds like you're projecting that jealousy and creating situations where she won't be able to go. Real interesting that the only time you can make plans is the time of day and the day of 
Anthony's chemo appointments. If you actually had any empathy towards the situation for Anthony, even if you don't like him, you could still have empathy for him. If you had any, you would at least make your plans on days where you know your wife doesn't have to go. Also, I don't have kids, so I can imagine it gets stressful, you know, having to always watch a tiny child, but it's your kid. You're, oh, you're forced to stay home to watch your child. Like, no, that's your son. A question I do have though is like, why not just take your son to lunch with your mom and sister? It's a family lunch anyways. Just take your kid. It's clear that he's trying to make situations where she can't go. And on top of that, when you did get into this argument, you just left. You didn't even come to a conclusion, a compromise. You just made the controlling decision that she was gonna stay there and you were gonna leave. Because yes, I can understand why the mom doesn't want to take her child to see somebody going to chemo treatment. I don't know the kid's age, but I could see why she might not want to bring him to that. But I cannot see why you wouldn't want to just take your son to lunch with the family. Another thing is like the obvious is that Anthony needs somebody right now. You can be as jealous as you want. You can dislike Anthony as much as you want. But at the end of the day, that's your wife's friend. He's going through chemo. He doesn't have anyone else to support him. So you need to just suck it up and be a better person. Honestly, in my eyes, it's that simple as just like suck it up, be a good person. Sure, you don't like Anthony, but that doesn't matter right now. A terrible, horrible disease. And he needs somebody right now. And your wife is the friend. And I find it interesting that once again, the reason I think it's jealousy is because he said that it's not that they fight or they get into heavy disagreements. He just doesn't like that they spend so much time together. Shouldn't you be happy your wife has a friend? It's not like she's cheating on you. It seems like you're just jealous that she spends time with him because he has chemo treatments and needs somebody to spend time with him and you are the asshole. I think I'm gonna end on that one. That one kind of made me sad. I got upset like angry and then I thought about it more and I was like this poor man she missed a chemo appointment. This poor wife as well. She missed going to one of his chemo appointments because you threw a fit about not wanting to take your son to lunch and not wanting to stay at home and just left. You're the asshole. You're so mean. That's so mean. Oh my god. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. Like I said, if you want any of my socials, they'll be in the description below. And once again, thank you Scentbird for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check out Scentbird, I will have it not only in the description, but as the pinned comment as well. And remember, code SIBYL55 for 55% off your first month. And do you guys want to see something really cool? If I take this cute little Scentbird bag and I put it over the camera like this, it looks like I said, Bye.